When you answer a case in Secure Client, you will have access to a word processor and a spreadsheet. You will see that the word processor and spreadsheet functions are similar to those found in Word and Excel, but they have some differences. Some functions have been disabled for security reasons. The purpose of this video is to explain the differences. Let's look at the word processor first. As you can see, the tabs on the top of the screen are similar to those found in Word. Let's type something here. You can see that you will be able to bold, italicize, underline, double underline. So you can use formatting tools the way you would find them in Word. You can also copy and paste by using either the icons on the taskbar or by using Control C and Control V. You can also insert a table with the number of lines and columns you want. You can also insert symbols if you ever need some. There is a reference tab where you could insert a table of content or a caption, but these tools are not useful in an exam writing context. You can also use the spell check under the review tab. Make sure that the right language is chosen, so you would need to highlight your text and choose the right language, here being English Canada. You can then spell check your answer. On the View tab, you can zoom in or out and modify your document view. On the File tab, you will find the Save button as well on the top left of the screen. You do not need to save regularly your document. Secure Client saves automatically your response every 30 seconds. You also have the Redo and Undo buttons. So you can see that the word processor is easy to work with and is very similar to Word. Let's now look at the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has some little differences from Excel, which we will demonstrate here. The first difference is with the auto sum function. The auto sum function within Secure Client does not highlight the likely range to create a final number. So for example, if I want to add those three numbers, I go to auto sum and you will see that the range of cells is not pre-populated like in Excel. You need to use your mouse and track or trackpad to highlight the range you wish to generate a sum for and then click enter. You also need to note that the arrow keys will not allow you to specify a range to calculate. Once you create a function, you need to use your mouse trackpad to highlight a range to calculate. Another difference is as follows. The sort function within Secure Client does not allow you to specify a range of columns. To sort within Secure Client, you must create a table of data, as already done here, highlight the data in the table, click the Format as a Table option within the navigation bar, Specify the type of table appearance required. Click OK. You now have arrows that will allow you to sort by column. Another difference is the formatting in Canadian dollars. If the Canadian dollar is not the default currency and you wish to format a range of data as Canadian dollars, you have to highlight the range of data as you wish to format, right-click the highlighted range and click on Format Cells. Choose the Currency option under Category. In the Symbol field, click the drop-down menu and choose Dollars English Canada. Click OK. The numbers will then be in English Canadian dollars. Within Secure Client, the equal sign is not automatically added. You must use the equal sign to start any formula or calculation. There is no Format Painter tool in Secure Client you need to use the format function. Last thing to note, the Alt tab function does not work if you want to navigate between programs, word processor, spreadsheet, and reference material. The formulas found in the formula tab work the same as Excel, so no differences to note there. In the view tab, you can again zoom in and zoom out and show or not show the grid lines and the headings. Under File, you can undo, redo, and also save your document. Like the word processor, the spreadsheet document is saved automatically every 30 seconds by Secure Client.
that's the end of the video. thank you.